U.S. newspapers, they are folding at an alarming rate, and uh, some people are switching to online only. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos sent a thunderbolt through the media world this week. Now, with the growth of the Internet, making money has been something of a struggle for the print industry as a whole. Sales and profits both are shrinking, with circulation down nearly 40 percent. For over 300 years, news has arrived on our doorsteps as newspapers. Publishers relied on paper, on ink, presses, trucks and shops. Many newspapers spend nearly half their budget just getting their content to you. But that, as they say, is yesterday's news. This is the digital world. In an instant, news travels to your laptop, smartphone or tablet. Geography has disappeared. Words written in Paris are available on the New York subway. And while the way we get news is undergoing a revolution, so is the nature of news itself. San Antonio, Texas. Hundreds of journalists gather here from all over the United States to discuss the current state and the future of their profession. Journalists like Laura Frank. I was a reporter at the Rocky Mountain News, an investigative reporter at the state's oldest newspaper. Um, but it ended when it closed in 2009, and it was devastating. On that day, the paper's owners walked into the newsroom to tell the reporters that their jobs were at an end. We're going to announce just in the next few minutes that we're going to put the Rocky Mountain News up for sale. Something that would have been unthinkable just a few months ago. And it was really um, a shock for the country, I think. It, it got a lot of attention around the United States when that happened, because it was the first major metropolitan newspaper to close in the United States. During the last 15 years of the digital revolution, dozens of newspapers have vanished in the United States. And more than 30% of journalists have lost their jobs. The entire industry was collapsing around us, so it wasn't as if we could, no, we'll just go get other journalism jobs. There were no other journalism jobs. Uh, I was wondering if I was going to have to go work at Starbucks. <laughs> All the journalists here in San Antonio have had a rough ride in the last couple of years. The basic financials of the media business have changed completely. But surprisingly, the journalists here in San Antonio are decidedly optimistic. We've experienced the technology that causes the disruption, you know, the internet and the digital. But now, I think the technology really is going to add to being able to do the reporting and being able to disseminate it in a way so that we, we're kind of, we felt the pain, now we're going to feel the benefit. But getting to there from here means changing the way we think about news. When traditional newspapers began to die in the United States, the big question was, what's going to replace them? The answer is, all sorts of things. New ways to get news. New ways to read it. New ways to share it. But it's still early days for the brave new digital world. Days of experimentation, where some win and some lose. After 80 years, Newsweek will print its last edition. Newsweek is going all digital and ending its run as a print publication that began in 1933. Newsweek is the second largest weekly magazine after time. Newsweek circulation dropped more than 50% from 3.1 million to a million and a half. IBT Media has bought Newsweek for an undisclosed amount. The magazine's new owner hopes to succeed where others have failed. Available now on iTunes.